Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I got some more bullish information I want to pass on to you about Hedera Hashgraph. And one of these projects that I'm going to talk about that sits on their ecosystem might be a game changer as far as moving their needle in the long run. And I'm excited to share this information with you. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And we do appreciate it. Now, let's get into it. I watched an interview with Mintz uh, Harmon, who is the co-founder of HBAR. And if you want to watch this, go to Daily Hoddle and just type in uh, Hedera case study, and I'm sure it'll pop up. Now, when you watch the video, he talks about two different projects. And not only are they really powerful, but it, it just made me understand exactly where their roadmap is as far as where they're trying how they're trying to grow and with their marketing and uh you know their where their focus is and quite frankly it's really different than most of the other layer ones out there and i'm telling you guys this is not financial advice but if you're looking for something to stack during this bear market and during this uh recession i highly recommend going down the rabbit hole doing your own research on hbar now, their focus is on enterprise, global corporations. I don't know if you know it or not, but Google, Boeing, Microsoft are all on their board. Some of the most powerful corporations in the world are on their board. Now, outside of Ethereum, in my opinion, HBAR has the most political clout and the biggest corporations behind them. Uh, as far as, you know, being part of their ecosystem. And guys, that's hugely important because the number one I, thing I do as far as my investments, I'm not talking about the speculative way out there stuff, you know, your your m real money, you know, the, the meat and potatoes of your portfolio, I follow the money. What are what is Goldman Sachs doing? What's you know BlackRock doing? What's Bank of America doing? And uh, when you follow that type of money, a lot of it, I mean a lot of it, leads you to H bar. Not to get off track. Now, what he talked about was the first thing is a law firm and its token is Toko T O K O, and I'll probably be doing a video about that. Um, but their initial plan to build on HBAR uh, was that they were going to create some products for them and use those. Well, as they got into it, they realized how complex it was. And not only did they have to know whether it was, you know, uh, legal in whatever country, but they had to know every country's regulation. And they realized for the average corporation, that wasn't easy to do. So they created a token that basically all of these major corporations can come buy their token and get their services so they can walk them through uh, all the legal aspects of everything Web3 and with the uh, you know blockchain, the metaverse, smart contracts, etc. So that particular project in my opinion, is very unique. It may not move the needle because of its size, but it's going to onboard a lot of major corporations. And that's very unique. I don't know any other project uh, out there that's doing that, and it sits on top of Hedera. Now, the next project really excites me because it truly can move the needle. He mentioned in this interview that they believe that it could do like uh, billions and billions of transactions a year, if not like a month or a week in the future. Now, why is it so powerful and what is it? Well, the project, if you want to go check it out, their website is atma.io. I highly recommend it. Now, they're the world's leading connected product cloud. Now, I'm going to give you an example of why this is so powerful but before we do i want you to look at this they're already doing and this is a 
very young project, guys. They're already doing over 22 billion items, right? So basically what they do is they create an NFT smart contract linked to every item. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's say Nike wanted to do a tennis shoe, and they're going to source it out in China and have it uh, you know, created and shipped back and sell it. Well, in today's environment, especially with uh, BlackRock and the ESG and all the stuff around the world and the climate change and all that regulation, you have to prove, corporations have to prove their carbon footprint for the most part and their ESG uh, requirements if they, you know, met those. Well, it's not easy to document at all. And I'll give you an example. So that tennis shoe is in China. Well, did they break any child labor laws? Uh, where did they source the rubber? Where did they source the leather? Uh, where did they source the dye? Dye's highly toxic. So that shoe has a pretty hefty carbon footprint. Well, they're going to have to offset that with, uh, you know, and use carbon offsets. Well, they're going to have to track that, which is a lot to, to keep up with. And then they're going to have to prove it, right? So that's where this corporation comes in. They come full circle. They follow the product all the way around the world. If it needs a carbon offset, they prove that it was supplied. Now, stay with me at the end of the video because I'm going to show you real quickly another, uh, car another token, which is a carbon offset, and that's Klima. Dow. I'm just going to just show you the website so you'll know where to go. And then I'll put a, a link in the description if you want to watch that video. But that is another great uh, project that I'm going to be stacking during this downturn. Now, back on track. So based on uh, that need and the problem that it solved, guys, this is going to be a very big project. It is very very early. I truly believe it's going to just move the needle as far as transactions on HBAR. Now, speaking of transactions, I don't know if you know it or not, but HBAR does more transactions than every other blockchain chain period, including more than Ethereum. It's already hit 2 billion. Now, what really excites me about what I just shared with you just showed me and made me understand more exactly the uh, the blueprint that HBAR has as far as where they're trying to go. I'm not talking about their blockchain and all that. I'm talking about their marketing and how they're trying to uh, change the game and onboard corporations from around the world. That's totally different because I've already done a video how they're literally guys hosting big conferences around the world. They're hiring every qualified developer that wants to come on board. Uh, they're, they're, they're putting billions of dollars into their ecosystem. They're going to corporations, global enterprise corporations, and they're a little different. They're not just saying, hey, you want to get into the metaverse. Have you heard about this? They're literally saying, here's some opportunities. We're going to show you what's out there. and then." Here's how to solve all those problems. And guys, when you have that type of leadership and then this type of technology, because by far it's the most efficient layer one out there as far as uh, uh, use case, as far as uh, you know, electricity. It is the softest on the, uh, the climate there is. It is by far the number one. So, when you put all that together, when all that regulation, it's really a good fit, guys. I love their direction. They're doing everything right. And again, not financial advice, but guys, what you want to see in a downturn, don't follow the price. Who cares about the price, which we're going to look at the chart in a second. When we go into the next bull market, everything they've created is going to catch up with the price. A lot of these blockchains, if you go look at their commits, 
which HBARS is exploding. It's in the thousands. And which commits is what have you committed to add to the blockchain what, or to your uh, protocol? You know, we're going to do this tomorrow. We're going to do this the next day. We're going to be right here. Their commitments, basically, and HBARS is a big, big number. They're working hard every day. They're firing on all cylinders, and it's going to pay dividends in this next bull market. I truly believe it. Uh, now, let, let's look at the chart, guys. Now, this is the kind of chart you want to see, in my opinion. I don't want it to move. I want it to keep staying down, and I want to keep stacking, guys, because, look, if it runs tomorrow to 20 cents, unless you're day trading, so what? I'm not buying it at 20 cents. I truly believe it's probably – going to stay under 10 cents guys if we're lucky it'll get down to these prices now would that scare me no why because nothing has changed guys we're just in a recession now this is just my personal opinion but you know i could be wrong so therefore i'm dollar cost averaging in anything under 10 cents works for me but that being said we are in a recession and guys there is not one thing no matter what the white house wants to say there is not one area of the economy that is doing well jobs are falling real estate's falling stock market's falling everything's they're not going to be making uh, profits we're going to go from inflation to stagflation now look we've had all that chaos in the last couple of months and nothing happened and what I mean by that is nothing really created that. Now, yes, we had some craziness with Terra and stuff in uh, the crypto markets, but the stock market and, and real estate, there was nothing but a few rate hikes. And so my point is, I've been around a long time, guys. I'm a little older. Something's going to break. We are going to pay for all the damage we've done with our ignorance since COVID. And, and all the policies of printing money and just give, 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 not to get political, but guys, we're going to pay for it. So something's going to break. Now, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow morning, next month, or even next year, but I truly believe something's going to break in the next year. And I really believe in the next four or five months. So when that happens, everything, no matter how good a project it is, it's going to get crushed. And that's, in my opinion, when I am going to load the absolute boat in the top projects. And this is definitely one of them. But now, if I'm wrong and somehow they pull off a miracle, which it ain't going to happen, but somehow that we had a soft landing, well, I've been stacking. I'm stacking under 10 cents. I'm good to go. I truly believe, guys, this is going to be a 10x or more from here. And I think it's going to be more up in here and it could explode from there. Why do I say that? Because H bar has been building the whole time. That's not the same H bar as they were right there. And this H bar, believe it or not, is a lot more powerful than this uh, protocol was. And they're going to make it more uh, powerful. They're doing more transactions. They're onboarding more global enterprise corporations so in the next bull run whenever that is the price is going to equal all the stuff that they've been creating i'm excited guys i am really excited about this project i urge you to take a look at it and see what you think uh, if you agree with me now real quick if you want to look at a token for carbon offsets uh, I got this from Mark Cuban. He uses it. Uh, it's Kilma Dow, uh, dot finance. Go there, check it out, or check the link in the description. I did a video on it. This is a hell of a project as well because that's where regulations move to, and you got to have uh, a carbon offset, period. Well, anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, hopefully you understood it sometime I get uh, on a rant, uh, but I hope you understand the difference of Hedera's ecosystem and their game plan. They're going after corporate America. 
They have a lot of positive things going. All these major corporations, like I said, you know, uh, uh, Boeing and Google and Microsoft is on their board, guys. I'm telling you, this is a first rate project. Let me know what you think. Are you stacking? Is this a good project? Do you agree with what I've talked about? Please be part of this um, community. We're trying to grow it. We want to learn and grow together. Hopefully, uh, bring you a lot of good information, a lot of projects like this. Anyway, Go ahead and subscribe, mash that notification so you don't miss any of these, and hit that like button, and come back, guys. Take care.